Okay. Well, thanks so much for being with me this evening. <clears throat> I'm going to go on the screen share and start to talk about our million, uh, million, um, <clears throat> excuse me, our middle class millionaire plan. And uh, basically, uh, we're going to show you how we're matching that together with uh, FinFit. So FinFit, give you an idea, FinFit is a, an operation who has decided that health and wealth and the time to enjoy them is kind of very important on their mission. So I have uh, matched into that, the middle-class millionaire plan, and we can look at uh, some of the positives on this, what the uh, real help will be, okay? So when we look at this pandemic, I like to tell people, you know, physical health and well-being, what have we learned in the last two years? Well, I think we learned that physical health is an active mindset, and yet people took it for granted. Uh, nutrition, exercise, stress reduction. I think people were in a lot of bad habits health-wise, and when the pandemic hit, um, there was a lot of unfortunate uh, premature death and a lot of problems. Most of them, though, were health-related. They weren't really related to the virus itself. So, you know, what is your why and that's what we want to talk to people about being healthy and what's your how, how you're going to be healthy. So the FinFit solution kind of puts this all together. Now, the problem, as we see it, especially coming out of these last two years, is America has a need to change the way they're planning for their future and taking care of their health. We knew about the financial side before the pandemic. What I think we didn't really focus on was the health side because we do lead the world in uh, diabetes, we lead the world in obesity, and those things didn't just happen over a decade or two. I mean, that was long-term uh, uh, misplanning, let's put it this way. So now I think is the best time because people are starting to recognize the health issues that came about due to the pandemic. So this is a point for education, leadership, and influence. Let's look at the two areas of uh, families in distress. So on the health side, it says less than 5% of adults participate in 30 minutes of physical activity each day. Now think of that. I mean, 30 minutes. We're not talking about heavy exercise. We're just talking about physical activity. So less than 5 uh, you know, less than 5% actually do 30 minutes of physical activity. 1.5 million Americans are diagnosed with diabetes every single year. So right now, it would be said that our diet is a national security threat because of how unhealthy our population is. This, this little chart, I don't get too deep into it, but it does show you some of the th cycles and what happened you know, back in the days. In the 1900s, you know, the biggest uh, problems were pneumonia and tuberculosis, diphtheria, right? And uh, uh, enteritis and things of that nature, okay? So together that caused 30% of all the deaths. Now, when you got to um, 2003, Physical inactivity, poor nutrition, and smoking were very high in the list, okay? So 50% of the deaths worldwide came from this physical inactivity, poor nutrition, smoking, and which is the causative actions for cancer, diabetes, heart, and lung diseases. Now, in 2019, we still have the physical inactivity, poor nutrition, smoking, and alcohol, and we have the cancer, diabetes, heart, and lung disease, Okay but it now accounts for 60% of the deaths worldwide. So we're not getting better. We're absolutely getting worse. Now, the other part of the American family in distress is the financial hardship. Millions of Americans are only $400 away from financial hardship, and only 29% of Americans consider themselves financially healthy. We're not talking about financially independent, we're talking about healthy. And bankruptcies are at a near all-time low, uh, but they say consumer bankruptcy filings will start to rise again due to the lasting effects of the pandemic. And once again, those uh, bankruptcies will come from medical uh, problems predominantly. Now, in the financial fitness side, which is where we have the middle class millionaire plan, what we want to talk to people about, there's really five stumbling blocks to achieving what they want to call financial fitness. I'd rather call it financial independence. Okay, those stumbling blocks are time because obviously the longer you have money growing and accruing over time, you know, the power of um, compound interest is working for you. Inflation, inflation erodes away the value of your dollars, investment losses, 
Uh, well, that's risk uh, component. Once you lose money, uh, you know, rule number one is don't lose money. But once you lose money, you have to almost double up in order to get a double return in order to get back even, right? Taxation, we have no control over taxation, but we certainly have the ability to determine how much tax we really need to pay. And then ultimately, of course, there's health and wellness. Because if you're not healthy and you're not mentally and physically well, then the chances of you earning and really raising your income are very slender because you're too worried about your health and well-being and you're chasing health. So the solution from FinFit in this movement is kind of simple. They determined that basically by combining these financial concepts with education technology and bringing fitness to families, we can make a major difference on this, okay? So the five pillars uh, for financial is growth, obviously. Safety, as I mentioned, you know, the rule number one is don't lose any capital. Protection, protection comes in the form of all your risk management uh, goals, uh, especially protecting the future family income, protecting the liquidity and the tax-free income that could come from life insurance. So life insurance is very big on the protection side, but it also has components for tax advantaged, and for health and wellness, because that biggest issue about being unhealthy and having medical bills and having some problems, the biggest issue life insurance can control is the liquidity that life insurance provides for chronic illness, critical illness, and terminal illness. That's a big bonus and a big uh, extra on life insurance. Okay, so basically the FinFin Life Movement, the FinFit Life Movement is to talk about growth on your money, protection from uh, market downturns, that's the point of losing capital, protection if you die too soon, that's going to replace your income, protection if you become ill, that's the liquidity I just mentioned, tax advantaged, want to turn everything in, life insurance is a unique asset that creates um, tax-free income and liquidity. Okay, retirement income falls into that tax-free income. And then the unique to FinFit is we're going to give incentives for those for being healthy. So those incentives will allow people to actually reduce the costs of their life insurance, okay? Now, in the middle-class millionaire plan, which I'm plugging right into that system, is a message where we want to talk to people about how to build their own bank and how to increase the income in order to do that. Because $1,500 to $2,000 a month is really kind of a perfect model to build a really substantial middle-class millionaire, million-dollar bank, right? We want to do it inside the FinFit model, but that's how we establish that and create the tax-advantaged income through the other side of business development. So where can we get that increase in income? Well, the FinFit model is going to help us talk to people about how to increase their income by using the fit, FinFit mission and basically increasing the income so that they create their own bank. So we know there's three types of income for financial independence. We'll talk about that later. The Advocacy Network is the, is the group that I had formed uh, over a decade now, uh, 12 years, that basically has saved the public over $15 million. Our agents can sell those memberships and keep all the proceeds from the memberships. We take care of that, okay? So we help people uh, protect them against all forms of financial victimization. It's a wonderful door opener, but at the same time, we're going to help people understand how the FinFit model can also uh, help them increase their income and get their own bank. So these are just some of the uh, strength and selections. Uh, predominantly, most of what we're talking about is indexed universal life, however, um, John Hancock is one of the premier companies that is working through Vitality with FinFit. So it's probably predominantly John Hancock. However, we do have Foresters. There's a whole life product in Foresters with dividend paying, which looks pretty attractive as well. So obviously, uh, life insurance, fixed annuities, long-term care. The John Hancock product has long-term care riders on top of it. So that's very good. Um, products are all very good for advanced planning for business owners and estate planning. So while we do want to get out there and make a middle-class millionaire message, we also can certainly service the, um, um, the mass affluent and the upper class, no doubt about it. And they too 
want to make sure they're healthy and enjoy some really serious discounts for um, their life insurance. So this is the way it kind of works. You accumulate vitality points, okay? And that's for doing simple health-related activities. And that could be walking, eating, re eating healthy regularly, getting regular checkups. You get so many points for going to the doctor on a regular basis, okay? So you earn a vitality status. Each year, the status levels determine based on the number of points you accumulated based on what you did, what you did for your health, right? Uh, the higher the vitality status, the more you can save on premiums and the greater the rewards. So it goes anywhere from zero all the way to 10,000 points. Now, the significant premium savings and rewards for being healthy, there's up to 15% in annual premium savings. Again, it goes based on your vitality score points and what you do. Um, you can earn an Apple Watch for as little as $25. There's ways to do that through your, uh, through your points. You can earn up to $600 in healthy food savings each year based on nutrition. And now you can earn discounts between 10 and 50% at more than 400,000 hotels worldwide. And I'm sure they'll be adding more and more things, but it's all about health and, and wellness. So the process is simple. We got a financial fitness review, which we are going to be restructuring a little for middle-class millionaire plan. And you would meet with an associate of FinFit Life, start your financial and physical checkup. That's that fact finder. That fact finder goes into some health related things so we can uh, look at you for vitality, right? FinFit Associate will make recommendations and teach you about how it works along the way. So you set your plan up, you join the FinFit movement. So once you find a solution that's right for you, it's time to start making better physical, financial and professional decisions. It's just a better mindset. Now the opportunity that's in front of you with joining FinFit is um, the compensation as an associate is associates are compensated for helping families. Suppose a family contributes a $2,000 premium per life for their FinFit product. Uh, associate compensation for helping one family per week is um, uh, $2,400, okay? On the uh, annual compensation, if you, did, uh, if you did that kind of job once a week, on the annual compensation uh, with four weeks vacation based on 48 weeks of working, you'd make $28,800, okay? The director's compensation with uh, each helping one family per week is uh, 14,500 monthly income. Let's say you have a team of five associates. So if each one of them helps one family per week, so that's five associates, who uh, uh, are basically doing one case, that's five cases, that is uh, $14,500 to the director. That's an annual compensation of $174,000 on the director's side. And you can obviously build teams as deep and wide as you want. So that's just based on five, uh, having five uh, uh, associates in your program as a director. So, I want to thank you for the time uh, that you took, and I want to thank you for your uh, attention. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open it up briefly for a couple of questions just to see what we have, and um, let's start out and see. So, Minor, any questions from that? No, no questions. Okay. Any thoughts? Yeah. So, um, did you, did you want to, uh, stop the recording and that way, you know, that can be. Yeah. Sure. Let me do that. Let me do that. Do that right now. Okay.